different strings ringing. So uh, this first lick for this month's guitar journal is an A uh, country lick, uh, pentatonic scale based, or with the uh, dominant seventh in there as well. And uh, I'm gonna I'll be using hybrid picking. Okay, I did another video. You can check out the link below. This will uh, show you sort of uh, hybrid picking for dummies, just getting started doing some some simple licks. <laughs> Actually, they are quite easy once you get just get those right hand fingers rolling and you'll need that dexterity to get these um, um, You'll see this is sort of like a big banjo roll in the end um, this this lick here just moving across the strings Okay, I also want to show you where I think this lick would fit in a tune. It's kind of like a cadenza lick would come at the end um, All right, so over that whole a thing at the end there sloppy I didn't get the open strings so much that's better okay I got to practice it myself so let's go through it really slowly um, and I'll show you just a little bit about what I'm doing with the picking and what's uh, going on in the left hand of course uh, check out the uh, other link below this to um, go to my site where you can see the tab at the same time as watching the video that might be helpful for you too okay so the lick um, we'll do it First here in A, and then we're going to move it to other spots where it becomes much more Brad Paisley sounding, uh, hence that in the title, all right? All right, it's a little slower. We'll go step by step, um, starting at the fourth fret, sliding into the A, fourth fret of the high E string. All right, then we're going to hit here. That one's first done with the uh, finger. I'm using my ring finger. You can use your middle finger also. It doesn't really matter. Um, starting with a finger pluck, though. All right, and then we're picking the next note on the B string, pulling off. All right, and then we're going to get um, this flat five off the A here, that E flat. And we're going to pick that. All right. Um, high E string again also. Is that, that is an E flat. Yeah, what am I saying? Um, that ringing against one another, and that gives us a lot of dissonance there. Okay. All right, that's kind of the first half of it there. Pull off, pick that E flat, pluck the high E string, and that's a, a leap across from the G to the E. That's why this hybrid picking is really helpful. All right, and then we're going to pull off and pick the uh, E flat again, pull off to the D, and then pluck the open B string, and then we're gonna get this here. All right, so that B, that's also gonna ring pretty harsh against the C moving to the C sharp. All right, and when we finally hit this A down here and are holding that, then all those ringing strings sort of finally resolve. Um, That's what's really key to these uh, country licks like this is getting that tension happening mostly in like minor second intervals ringing against one another. E flat to E here, for example, or the C to the over the B. All right, and finally getting those to resolve together into the sound of the chord. That's the first half. Then we're going to start the second half of it with a G plucked here, um, using my middle finger, G string. All right, and that's kind of giving us the feeling of going. All right, but with the open string, and then plucking the D string open. Right, instead of just going like that, we're getting, which leaves us with these strings ringing here. Okay. Now the D doesn't really fit so well over the A chord, but it's also just going to ring briefly and again bring a little bit more tension to it before uh, resolving here. So we're resolving by getting again the third and the root and whether the third here and the root up here or down there, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so really slow through the whole thing. Big 
resolution chord there at the end with that A6-9 chord. Or just go up here. Once you work it up to speed, it'll make a really great cadenza lick. Like I said, coming down. And work it slowly with a, a metronome up to tempo and you can get it going really quick. It sounds very cool. That starts to get up like those uh, country guys like Brad Paisley. Now that's why I mentioned the name and the title here. It's not just to draw you in. This is very much, um, if you move this lick now, including the open strings to other positions, that's where you kind of take off into this more jazzy, freaky, modern country like Brad Paisley kind of territory. So over the uh, A chord with the E and the B strings are ringing and the G and the D actually also rings briefly. Um, the E is of course the fifth of A, that's fine. The B is the second, or known as the ninth. That's also a fine note to uh, be using. All right, okay, those, the ninth works fine in there, okay? The uh, uh, other one, G, that's the seventh, that's no problem. All right, you're gonna have that in there in any case. And then uh, the D string, okay, that's the fourth. You don't want it ringing too long, but it works out. Now let's take the whole thing down to G and think about what the notes will be uh, when those open strings are ringing there. Now the E is gonna sound a little bit strange. It's gonna give us a little bit of like a 13th sound if we're playing over the G dominant chord. Okay. Right, also tense. Okay, and the B is no problem. Of course, we're gonna get it rubbing against the B flat briefly here as we do that hammer on. And it all resolves again. So we're just getting a slightly different color. This one might be also just construed as a little more jazzy on that 13th sound. Okay, and we're gonna get a little different thing happening with the, the D string there too. Instead of it sounding like, it's gonna sound like, which is also fine for the lick. Okay, get our ears into G for a second. Okay. Uh, couldn't decide which uh, bottom note to hit. All right, so that works out pretty well over G. All right, let's take it up now to, um, up to C. This is where it's gonna get really strange. Uh, let's get our ears in the C. Okay, should be here in C now. Oops, uh, messed that one up. Okay, that gets really weird up there, those open strings. But now if you were using that as a cadenza in a really up-tempo, crazy kind of... Um, all right, I dare you to try it. I don't think I can put it into context, but it's very, very Brad Paisley like that when I hear that. All right, it really does work out when it resolves. You just can't have those high strings ringing when you resolve there. That's not gonna sound, it's gonna sound very major seven, which is maybe a little weird in this context. Oh. All right. So anyway, I got some practicing to do myself on this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lick. Uh, move it around into other positions, see how it sounds. Try it in B. sounds all right there too, you know? Let's experiment with it and see what happens. And uh, have fun, uh, please subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time around for the next lesson.